With 2022 nearly behind us, I wanted to go through every single Nintendo Switch game that I have in the game collection. So, without further ado, let's go through them. First off, uh, we just got this one in, Atari uh, 50 Anniversary Collection. Comes in this steelbook, and pretty tight case there. But uh, I could, just couldn't resist getting this uh, nice steelbook here. Followed by, what do we got next? A Hat in Time. This is a really fun game. If you haven't played it yet, I do recommend that game. That game's a lot of fun. We've got Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 Deluxe. And we've also got Animal Crossing. So good that have it twice. Two copies, one for me, one for my wife. We've got ARMS next. Came out right away. Haven't played it since. Um, Assassin's Creed, uh, Black Flag, and Rogue. We've also got uh, Big Brain Academy. We've got Burger Time Party. Um, kind of a nothing burger for that. Uh, Cadence of Hyrule. Uh, I still haven't played this game, but uh, definitely on my to-play list. We've got uh, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I love Captain Toad. Treasure Tracker, great game. Uh, Clubhouse 51 Games, I did get some enjoyment out of that one as well. Uh, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. We've got Doki Doki Literature Club. Haven't played this one yet, but uh, I do kind of plan on playing it at some point. We've got uh, Doom 64. We've got uh, Doom Eternal Collection, and I accidentally bought that one twice. That was my bad there. Um, we've got uh, The End is Nigh. We've got Farm Simulator. I'm kind of a sucker for these games, and I don't know why. Uh, I've got Forager. Picked it up when it was on clearance, and I still haven't opened it yet. Uh, game Builder Garage. We've got both Ghostbusters, the video game. We've got a Golf Story, which is fantastic, and I'm very excited for Sports Story to come out. Definitely recommend picking up that game. Uh, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. We've got uh, Katamari, uh, Damasi, Rerolled. Couldn't resist that game as well. Love Katamari. L.A. Noir. I had to pick this up. It was one of the, you know, one of the first uh, Nintendo Switch launches, just to see how it ran on the Switch. And you know, it did pretty decent. I was uh, pleasantly surprised. Of course, Legend Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Fantastic game. How can you go wrong with that? Uh, Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword. I didn't give this one as much as a chance as I should. I should get back to it and play it. Luigi Mansion 3 kind of fell short a little bit for me there. Uh, let's see, this was Lumens. Lumens Remastered. Pretty decent little game. Uh, Mario Golf Super Rush. I kind of had fun with this game, although uh, I should get back to it as well. Uh, Mario Sonic at the Olympic Games. I've always picked these games up, but I just never really got into this one. Uh, Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I did really actually enjoy this one, but I haven't picked up the next one yet. Uh, Mega Man 11. Uh, pretty decent Mega Man game. I thought that was a I still had a lot of fun with it. Metopia, I bought it just because I didn't have that on the 3DS. It's still sealed. I don't know. I just haven't cracked open it yet. Uh, Monopoly for Nintendo Switch. And then I bought this Monopoly for uh, Monopoly Madness, which absolutely fell short for me. <laughs> we've got uh, Nintendo Labo, the Toy-Con 4. Uh, we've got uh, Namco Arcade uh, Pack Museum. Uh, pretty decent. No More Heroes 1. No More Heroes 2. We've got Nintendo Switch Sports, which I am a volleyball pro. Come at me. Uh, Pac-Man World uh, Repacked. I was more so a fan of uh, Pac-Man World 2, um, so we'll see if that one ever comes out. Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I beat this game as well on the Switch. Um, perfect. I played it on the Wii U. I love Pikmin 3. Definitely, definitely a recommendation from me. Get ready for Pikmin 4. Pokemon Arceus. Uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. We've got Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. We have the uh, the big box uh, sets of those uh, with the, that came with the Pokeball Plus. Pokemon Sword. We've got Pokemon Shield. We've got Railway Empire. It was just kind of a weird game that uh, there was no way, I, I don't know, I just felt like I needed to buy it. River City Girls. I am so frustrated. This was a limited run release. And I'm so frustrated, I missed the window on River City Girls 2, and I hope that it comes to Best Buy so I can snag that one as, as well. Uh, Rocket League, before it went digital. Kind of happy to have that. Uh, Rune Factory 4 uh, Special. We've got Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. We've got Sega Genesis Classics. 
Shantae. I just kind of got these more recently, so they're still sealed. And I don't know, with the prices the way sometimes they are, I might leave them sealed and just buy them digitally on the eShop. Um, Shantae and the Seven Sirens. We've got Shantae Risky's Revenge, another one that we just got, so it's still sealed. Um, Shantae Half Genie Hero, which I did really enjoy. <clears throat> We've got Civ, uh, Civ 4, I believe. We've got Space Invaders Forever. Kind of a fun little arcade game. I'm glad I picked that one up. Uh, Splatoon 2, awesome, of course. Um, which then leads me to Splatoon 3, which is fantastic. I highly recommend Splatoon 3. Stardew Valley, I get into it a little bit, and then I fall short on a little bit of Stardew Valley. I don't know why, I just fall short. Story of Seasons, Mineral Town, I bought this on a recommendation and just haven't got to it yet, although I'm assuming I'd like it. Super Bomberman R, which was kind of a massive disappointment for me. Uh, Super Monkey Ball Banana, uh, this one is, yeah, Banana Blitz. My gosh, both these games and Banana Mania are absolutely punishing. Let's see, I did beat this one, and I haven't beat this one yet. But my gosh, they make me so mad, but I gotta keep playing them. I can never stop. Uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, and guess what? I bought into the hype and kept a sealed copy, even though I'm pretty sure you can still buy them now. Uh, Super Mario Maker 2, man, I kind of haven't really played that one since launch. Super Mario Odyssey, highly recommend. Uh oh, the stack's getting pretty big. Uh, Super Meat Boy, grab that one as well. Um, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, we've got, uh, uh, Sushi Striker, I bought that one on, like, a massive clearance. This game was, like, 40 bucks when it came out, and I don't know, clearance for, like, 10 bucks, so that was worth a buy. Taxi Chaos, I was, I was looking for a, uh, uh, what was the game on the GameCube and things, uh, uh, Crazy Taxi, it, it just doesn't quite live up, but I, I had high hopes for it. Uh, the Terra Trilogy, I couldn't resist, it has, uh, um, uh, let's see, the Terra Lander in it, I, I don't know, I was a sucker, had to buy that one. Uh, to the Moon, I bought this one, another limited run release, and it looks like a really fun game, but I just haven't cracked open it yet. But, uh, but I do plan on playing this one. It seems pretty sweet. Um, Undertale, an absolute classic that came out uh, a long time ago. Um, Untitled Goose Game. <laughs> that one's just a, an all-around goofy game. And this is also what happens when you and your wife uh, both play games. Um, and then <laughs> we accidentally bought two copies without knowing. Oh, let's see. I have a couple sitting on my desk here as well. That wasn't in alphabetical order. We've got Mario Kart 8, of course. And Ring Fit Adventure, which honestly, Ring Fit Adventure kind of holds up. Either way, this is what I have in the collection. What am I missing? I'm assuming that uh, with all these big stacks of games, I'm probably missing something that is near to dear to other people's hearts. Uh, let me know in the comments <laughs> what I'm missing and, and uh, light me up for not having it. Either way, that is kind of my collection of Nintendo Switch games as of uh, uh, 2022 here. And hey, we're just going to keep growing it uh, in 2023. We've got uh, the new Pokemon games coming out soon, which are on pre-order. And anything else that I grab on Black Friday and everything else going forward. So either way, everybody, thanks for uh, tuning in to this kind of game room collection update. And hey, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.